How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Cornflakers here from CPG Gaming. Going to be doing a quick cast of the StarCraft II Algoma Games Activities and Media Entertainment Club StarCraft II match. If the light is too bright, my apologies. I may be looking like a ghost for this entire cast. However, Like a Ghost is a pretty good song. Like a ghost, ghost, ghost. Watch me go, go, go. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning into this game. Finally getting underway, we have PC Kali playing Das Zerg, and we also have Zimmerman playing Das Zerg. If you tuned in the game before, you will notice that Zimmerman is quite the Zerg player, if I may say so myself. Um, Zimmerman currently building that, uh, building a couple of drones and an overlord, gonna send them down to scout out the base. PC Collie just kinda sitting, chilling, uh, just getting those resources. Uh, speaking of resources, let's track those here so we can see those as they come in. Uh, so we do have PC Collie in the purple, and we have Zimmerman in the green. Zed versus Zed, since we're up here in Canada, ladies and gentlemen. Cornflakers from CPG Gaming. Star uh, Starcrafting this cast for you. <laughs> yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen. Casting this Starcraft 2 match for the Algoma Games Activities Media and Entertainment Club up here in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, Canada, on planet Earth. If you're tuning in from somewhere else, thanks for coming out. I appreciate it. I do. Mad respect. And what is more respectful than a spawning pool going down at 18, 14 supply? We have a spawning pool by both teams going down. Gonna be seeing a Zerg rush, more than likely. Zerg v Zerg. Not 100% sure what to do in that situation. What would you do? Want some strategies? Want some ideas? And what is your favorite matchup? ZV, ZVT, ZVP, TVT, PVP, PVZ. And I think that's all the combinations there could possibly be. Terran versus all? Yeah, Terran, Zerg, Protoss. What's your favorite race? Who knows? We've seen lots of Zerg being uh, being favored here in the SC SC2 tournament at Algoma University. Um, Zerg has been the choice for some players, Protoss for others. Haven't seen a ton of Terran uh, lately. Who knows? We have a queen coming up here. Early expansion there by Zimmerman. Absolutely fantastic to get for the Zerg. PC Kali more than likely going to be getting this early expansion here as well. Time will only tell. Uh, that spawning pool, not researching anything currently for PC Kali. Zimmerman uh, up ahead by about 50 mil minerals. Uh, one more drone. Um, supply is pretty much dead even. Uh, the income. Nothing really being built yet here in the early game. Not a lot of rush tactics going on. Look like looks like both teams will be teching up to potentially uh, maybe infestors. Maybe we could see some hydralisks. Who knows? Looks like it might very well be a high tech game. Uh, we do have a spine crawler coming in to protect against the uh, potential early rush. However, it doesn't see like seem like either team will be aiming for that early rush. We do have uh, Zimmerman going for that increased Zergling speed. Potentially might be a little bit of early harass, but I don't think he will be going for the mass um, the mass Zergling spree uh, sell-off. We will have to see. Um, that second hatchery coming up. Uh, Queen going to attend to her loved ones. And... Uh, Looks like PC Kali uh, has that gas lead, has that mineral lead, but doesn't have as much as um, has those Zerglings up uh, before Zimmerman. Zimmerman sending a couple of his drones over there to spread out the uh, the depletion of the resources. Um, looks like uh, both teams finally passing each other, um, checking out where the site could possibly be on either side. Uh, I do think Zimmerman has seen PC Collie's base. Yes, he has. Um, and uh, just taking a quick look at what Zimmerman's seeing here. Um, just maintaining his bases for the most part. And uh, building that baneling nest out back. Uh, might be seeing Zergling's banelings. Uh, it's definitely a, a pretty viable strat. And um, we see uh, PC Collie there with the Zerglings. Uh, probably gonna get a quick rush here uh, on uh, on Zimmerman. He does have that overlord that saw where the base is at. Um, he is aware that 
uh, of the location of Zimmerman. He hasn't seen that second expansion yet, though. Uh, so if we just tack on to these Zergs here, uh, to, to these little Zerglings, they do get handled decently by the Queen herself. And uh, we have a little bit of uh, damage coming from these, uh, these trees here uh, on those Zerglings. Looks like we're going to be sending in a lone Zergling just to kind of check out things for the most part. Might try and go in and disrupt the mineral line. We do have those spine crawlers going up. Another bailing nest as well. We do have uh, that bailing nest in the back. Not 100% sure. Oh, he didn't end up building it there. Um, the queen there building the research. And uh, we have the queen, the bailing nest, and the spine crawler doing damage to those zerglings. So I don't think they'll be able to get in much for the most part. Uh, they have been null and void, and Zimmerman looks like he will be teching up to those Banelings. PC Collie returning to base with his Zerglings. Um, Banelings, Zerglings, Roachlings. Lings, 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 Lings all around. And it definitely looks like um, PC Collie uh, with that mineral um, with that mineral lead, which is kind of odd because uh, Zimmerman with those dual bases, I guess we could take a quick look at, and see the production. Who produced more What's currently in production? Zimmerman seems to have a couple things going on currently, and um, looks like uh, PC Collie focusing on the Roach build there. Uh, decent range on the Roaches. However, if Zimmerman manages to get in with the Banelings, that could null and void the entire purpose of the Roaches. Um, these Zerglings coming in here from Zimmerman will be uh, too little too late. Not too late, but too little too early. Um, it would probably be best if they had a little backup with them in the form of a bailing like we see right here, or in the form, and that is, is what we'll see. In fact, the roaches do know and void most of those bailings. Uh, a well done targeting there by PC Collie. He does have the ability to counter with those roaches. About 12 of them going in, and... Uh, 12 of those roaches probably will there be a push will there be a push on those roaches to go up uh, into Zimmerman's base we can only see that uh, anything else currently being built right now uh, still wondering why PC Collie hasn't taken that expansion he does have okay he does have that hatchery down I missed that purple does kind of blend into the map pretty well and this light is directly in my eyes my mistake ladies and gentlemen that baneling nest has the one upgrade on it and uh, these roaches trying to take down a, a few of the defenses and Zimmerman coming over with the Zerglings going to try and swarm around those PC Call doing a nice job of getting behind that statue there to try and uh, micro around the Zerglings but that Queen still doing AoE damage and Zimmerman bringing roaches of his own over to uh, to let PC Call knows what he thinks about that and um, we have another base up by Zimmerman. Uh, fantastic play while those while that was going on, and uh, looks like Zimmerman definitely will be taking the resource lead. We finally have that up, uh, that hatchery up from PC Collie. Will it be too little, too late? More than likely, my personal opinion from what I've seen, the Zerg needs that early expansion and they need it quick to become effective and Zimmerman has done exactly that, has got that trip base up top, PC Collie in purple with dual base bought, but dual base has just started, so production is slow, and you can see right there by the spending, the sheer amount of money that they have to spend, uh, Zimmerman with the army there, pretty much even, um, PC Collie with more units, with more money spent there, but with more money spent in the army and not enough income like Zimmerman, PC Collie falls off in terms of the economy and technology brackets. So where the technology being spent to tech up those roaches, we could possibly see burrowing by the roaches, we could see those increased damage from melee and or ranged ground zerg units. Uh, and I'm assuming Zimmerman has been all over that 
uh, in terms of upgrading his units. We do see the lair being built uh, here. I missed that upgrade, but it was it was coming for sure. You know, you know, just judging by the sheer amount of resources that Zimmerman has, that he will be continually upgrading. We do see those bailing upgrades coming down. So we have the increased movement speed on the bailings, which allows them to get in close for this battle. We will be seeing more than likely uh, a roach, perhaps uh, another hatchery here, going for increased production because we do see uh, the resources just piling high there for Zimmerman with those trip bases top, and we do see those. Uh, we do see these roaches here, and so it could. What I'm assuming is that the zerglings will go in the front, roaches behind, and uh, the banelings will come, will come from either. Um, the, the main attack will either be on this front here, and the Banelings will come in from this side, or the main attack will be from here and the Banelings will come in here. One of the other folks, six of one, half a dozen of the other, nonetheless, it looks like PC Kali, unless he can start pumping out some serious units, drop another Expo potentially over here. Zimmerman does have that, uh, Zimmerman does have all the choke points actually, um, well, uh, well looked at. The PC Kali does have access to this one. It would be quite risky, though, in my personal opinion. Perhaps snatching something that no one's seen yet. Perhaps uh, snatching the high pop uh, mineral field uh, resource over there, or just this one. Zimmerman with a fourth base, ladies and gentlemen. This is um, in the sheer number of resources alone. No matter what PC Kali does, this game is pretty much done. Uh, the only thing that we're waiting for now is time itself. Time is of the essence in the sense that uh, Zimmerman rolling down with those banelings. We're going to see something getting started here soon. Um, just getting his units into position. And uh, looks like nothing serious happened at that base. Just some collection agencies. We do see uh, the roaches uh, here. We see uh, roaches down here. Looks like we have a couple of... Uh, Looks like we have, oh no, we don't have anything uh, too special being built. He does have that layer up, and I did see the Hydraless Den go down, so I was wondering just when those Hydras were going to pop up. Uh, currently none in the build for uh, PC Kali, but with quad bases top now, Zimmerman has a commanding re uh, lead on both gas and uh, minerals. So all that's required... Wonder if we will see uh, Hydralis Den potentially. Dual uh, dual hatcheries on top. We do see that infestation pit. Potentially, we can see those infestors stand behind the roaches, as they uh, as the roaches provide a sense of distraction. We do see him loading the overlords actually with the banelings, which could be a good idea. Could be good. Could be bad. Um, not 100% sure where he's going to be going with those. Uh, they do have those uh, ranged units down bottom with the Hydralisks. If the Hydras could potentially get in, we do have Banelings here that are burrowed. Great idea by Zerman to thwart the uh, the potential risk. Uh, he'll be able to see PC Collie coming up and explode any units that he does send up either this side or this. Uh, fantastic play here by Zerman just to make sure all of his... Uh, spaces are checked all of his um, the potential worries uh, we do have the queen coming in and we do have the baneling drop the baneling drop did I just miss that baneling drop right in the base clearing out the majority of PC Collie's resources I thought they were gonna be dropping them in here on the army but actually going for the supply line and retreating with that is Zimmerman fantastic play just to wither his opponent down with a commanding 3,500 3, resources. Pretty much 3,500 resources. Zerman is currently sitting on. Uh, this is this is just an unfathomable lead. Um, supply capped currently is Zimmerman. Uh, needs to produce a couple of overlords just to get those um, just to get those roaches and or infestors coming out. Uh, we do see there is the infestor coming out, so we will have a round of those popping in about a couple of seconds. There they are. They'll be coming down, or they might stay and wait for wave two. Uh, PC Collie trying to push back a bit with his roaches, trying to do as much damage as possible, leading them back in here. We do see those Hydras 
which will provide a little bit of anti-air, even though it doesn't look like Zimmerman will be going for Hydralis. Neither player will more than likely be going for Hydras at this point. It does look like Infestors, Banelings, Roaches, Zerglings for Zimmerman, and it looks like Roaches and Hydras for PC Kali. Uh, with the Roaches here from Zimmerman, pretty much on par. Uh, Zimmerman with a few less, so he will choose to retreat those. PC Kali moving his army back in, making sure that wasn't a distraction, leaving a couple of Hydras behind, and he does see uh, the drop in there, uh, a couple of units coming in behind just to do a little bit of distraction and disruption from Zimmerman. Fantastic play, uh, just pelting away at his supply line, just chipping away slowly uh, until he takes this absurd lead. Uh, supply capped at 200, it looks like Zimmerman has to make a push soon or just send in some low-level units just to destroy to build those higher caliber uh, units or he could just probably tech up but I do think he would have most of the tech already we do see the attack coming in the bailings rolling in behind the base destroying the supply line uh, stopping that and the hatchery only with 96 HP left but we do see those bailings absolutely destroy or the roaches apologies absolutely destroy the enemy's roaches with that tech up over two grand spent on teching up and uh, those infestors, just absolutely, absolute domination from Zimmerman. And there's the there's the GG from PC Collie. That was definitely coming. We saw it in the works. You saw it, ladies and gentlemen. No way PC Collie was able to get out of that one. However, stick around for game two because you never know. The comeback kid exists in all of us. I've been Cornflakers from CPG Gaming up here in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, Canada, on planet Earth. Peace out.